how you doing leo so this will be another who and what is coming towards you in 2023 so i just thought to do another spread for y'all because i forgot i feel like i missed out on a lot of messages i actually rushed the reading the first one that i did yesterday so i just decided to go ahead and do another one hopefully i can just take my time and you know give these messages to y'all so i already pulled three cards leo i got two 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 unemployed and then i got supervisor manager so i feel like leo some of you guys could be seeing the number two a lot on the clock or maybe you could see it on receipts or license plate or whatever it is that you see this number but i am seeing that some of you guys are forming business partnerships this year maybe you're getting together with somebody and starting a business or you could just be you maybe you are partnering with, with other people or other people partner up with you y'all take what applies and you could be starting a business but i am seeing that i'm seeing a lot of things start to come together for you in 2023 tools is all about balance duality partnership choices opposition diversity and reflection so some of you guys i feel like everything is going to start to balance out for you in the year of 2023 and um you guys got a lot of i'm hearing you guys got a lot of decisions to make a lot of decisions to make and i feel like whatever decision that you do make leo i feel like it's going to be a successful outcome and it's going to be for the better for you some of you guys um some of you guys could could be employed and you could be you know leaving your nine to five job and you could be going to business partnership with yourself or somebody else. Some of you guys could have been supervisors or managers. I'm also getting that some of you guys could be um, walking out. I'm seeing somebody walk out of a out of a facility. Maybe you could be telling your supervisor or manager that you quit, or some of y'all may have could be getting resigned this year. Y'all take what the what applies. I'm also feeling like some of y'all this energy just recently passed, where you just re recently walked out of a of a um, facility, of a work setting that you was in, or you may have got laid off, or may have got kicked out, or fired, or some way some some way somehow. But I am seeing that. Even though this did happen, I, like I said, I'm still feeling this energy that everything is going to turn out in your favor, no matter if you did leave or not. It's like everything is going to turn out in your favor. So it's like some of y'all could be bosses. Once again, I'm seeing a lot of boss energy. I'm seeing a lot of boss energy. Some of y'all could be bosses, whether you have your own business or whether you are a supervisor or a manager. Some of y'all are going from being unemployed to find another job of being a supervisor or a manager. I'm also getting that. I'm going to pull another one from this basket. What else do we got for my beautiful Leos for the month? I mean, for the year of 2023. What else do we got for my beautiful Leos? Come on, spirit. We need a card. I need a card for my beautiful Leos. We got loyal. So I feel like some of you guys are probably coming together with somebody also this year. Maybe you could be dating somebody right now or you're going to be dating somebody who is going to be very, very loyal to you. This is somebody that you're going to be able to trust, Leo. Some of you guys are moving in with this person that you could be currently dating right now or this new person in the year of 2023 that you're going to meet. But I am seeing that. There is somebody who wants to take care of you, Leo, in this year of 2023. This person is somebody you definitely you, you can trust. I feel like they're going to pour their how they're going to pour their heart out when it comes to you on how they really feel. I'm seeing a lot of like level up energy, Leo, in this spread. Like literally, like y'all leveling up when it comes to love. I'm seeing y'all employment status go up. I'm seeing like Whatever it is that you work on also, Leo, is going to be something you are very dedicated into doing. Like something that you really love, I'm getting. And you're going to be very dedicated to your work and what it is that you want to accomplish. I'm hearing that. Let me pour another one. What else is coming towards Leo in 2023? What else, Spirit, is coming towards my beautiful Leo in 2023? Yeah, I'm seeing a level up, Leo, like literally. <laughs> whether you got unemployed, whether you're unemployed or not, you got a new job coming in or you got a new position where you're going to be like a, your own boss or a supervisor. Child care worker. Some of you guys could be a child care worker. Maybe you do, um, what is it, daycare? Maybe you work at a daycare or you guys are getting ready to get a job. Or maybe you just recently applied for a position to 
you know, get this spot when it comes to child care. Some of y'all babysit for a living. Maybe you just babysit at home and, you know, other people's kids and collect money from that, you know, from the side hustle or whatever. Because I'm getting side hustles. Somebody, t somebody babysit people's kids or you could work at a daycare facility. Some of y'all could also work in, um, what is it called? What is it called when you, um... I don't even know what is it called. When people take people kids and they um not a child care worker but a y'all let me know in the comment section what this is. Children's services. So some of y'all could work in children's services department. Maybe you um you just recently got a a position to to do that. I'm seeing a lot with this um with this card. Some of y'all also going to have to stay home, I'm hearing. Somebody going to have to stay home this year because you're going to have a child that is really sick. And um, you're going to probably need to leave work in order to, to care for your child. I'm also getting that this energy, Leo, this year you're going to have to pay a little bit more attention to your children. Because your kids could be like wanting your attention a lot more. They, gonna, they want you to spend a lot more time with them. Maybe you do work a lot, Leo. Let me pull another one. Who, what else is coming towards Leo in 2023 spirit? Businessman, woman. Didn't I say that? Y'all bossing up this year, Leo. A lot of you guys are definitely leaving y'all 9 to 5 and going straight to boss mode. If not, maybe you keeping your um your little your job and, and making it part-time instead. And then you could be on top of that starting a little small business. But I am seeing a lot of y'all bossing up. Y'all being business owners, um, supervisors, managers, some of y'all going from being unemployed to having your own company, also seeing some of y'all partner up with other people when it comes to business situations. I'm seeing relationships come together where somebody has somebody that is very loving and loyal to them. I'm seeing people move in together. This is all what's going on that I see in 2023, Leo. I'm seeing a lot of, um, I'm here to step your game up. A lot of things is, I'm telling you, start to come together. Things is going to balance out for you. No matter what choice, whatever decision that you make, when it comes to love, when it comes to your career, when it comes to your business, when it comes to work, everything is going to work out fine for you. You're going to be juggling a lot also, Leo. You know, even, it's like... But you know what you want, though, and you know how you're going to handle it. I'm seeing a lot of, stri like, strategic um, energy where you're going to be, like, I'm here thinking of a master plan. Like, you're thinking of, like, you're trying to figure out ways on how can you do this and how can you do this at the same time. It's like y'all going to be juggling a lot this year. Y'all got a lot going on, basically, but it's all going to turn out in your favor. It's all going to, you're going to be good. You ain't going to have nothing to worry about. Because you're going to be thinking things through. You're going to be, you know, planning things ahead of time. Or whatever it is that you that's getting ready to come towards you. So that's good. I am like this. Y'all bossing up. No matter what it is, Leo. It's like y'all are bossing up. Y'all are being very strategic on what it is that you want. And what it is that... It, it's not even about what you don't want. This is all that you is coming towards you. You see what I'm saying? All this good energy is coming towards you. And I like that. Deep. Hmm. I should clarify this. Deep. Somebody, I'm also getting this energy, Leo. Somebody could be wanting to come in and have a deep conversation with you in the year of 2023. I'm hearing real, like, things is about to get real deep in your life, real serious in your life. That's why I said this is some, something serious that's happening in your life, Leo. At all levels, whether, like I said, love, career, business, work, whatever it is, it's going to get very deep. I'm here interesting. We got the Empress. Some of y'all could be, oh, I'm, I'm, I just got this energy. Some of you guys could be healing. Maybe you lost a parent last year or sometime in the like, last few years, and maybe you still could be grieving over that person, but I am seeing that. This this in 2023, you're still going to be healing from the loss of somebody that may have passed away. Some of y'all are coming together with a mother figure. 
in the physical. Whether they, I feel like it's more in the physical. Some of you guys, it's, it's not in the physical. Maybe it's more somebody being your spirit God. I'm getting that energy also. Whether it is a mother or a father that may have passed away, and they try, and their way of connecting with you, you know, is maybe through your dreams or something. You see what I'm saying? Or maybe they're around you in spirit. But I am seeing a mother figure come towards you, Leo, in the year of 2023. And Spirit is saying that you need to pay attention to this um this energy, whether this is in the physical, this person want to have this talk to you with you, or whether this is like in your dream state, or this person is around you. But I am seeing that a lot of abundance coming in. This the Empress, I'm loving this card, like literally. Y'all are definitely getting, I'm getting a serious ass energy. Y'all are getting really deep, like really serious about yourself this year. Leo, y'all are playing no games, no matter what it is or who it is. Like y'all are very strategic on what it is that you want. I'm not even like picking up on energy. It's like y'all staying positive. That's the energy that I'm getting with y'all. It's like y'all not even thinking about anything negative or whatever it is that happened from the past. If you do have something that come up from the past, it could be you grieving the loss of a mother or a father figure that may have passed away. Other than that, whatever has transpired in your life um, that was negative, before all this new energy come in, I feel like you're not even going to... It's like you're going to act like... It's like... You forgot about it. You see what I'm saying? Because you healed so much to the point where you don't even care about the past. You're just focusing on yourself and getting really serious about what it is that you want and what it is that you need to accomplish, what it is that you need to achieve. That's the energy I'm picking up on with y'all, Leo. But I feel like this is your um glow. You're basically your glow up spirit is saying. Like, and you mean, I'm hearing business. Whatever this is about you, Leo, you mean, you mean that shit. Like, you mean business or whatever it is that you're trying to get in your life and you are glowing up this year like you see this girl it's like she got her hair done you know she's looking very beautiful like she's getting very serious about herself about her life about who it is that she want around her because i'm also getting this energy where some of y'all could be very protective when it comes to y'all energy and who it is that you want around you i'm also getting that it's like you getting serious with yourself, with your life, and who it is that you allow around you this year, and what it is that you want to accomplish. So I like that energy. All right, so who it is, who is it coming towards Leo? Who is coming towards my beautiful Leos in the year of 2023? Y'all got some good, it's a level up. This is a glow, a deep glow. That's basically what that's saying. This is a deep level up, a deep glow up for you. Like, you're not, it, you're not taking no shit in 2023. That's how serious this energy is. Like, you're bossing up on all levels. Like, you're not letting nobody stop you and get in the way of your happiness, whether that is a new lover, whether that is a new job, whether that is a, a new business. What, no matter what it is or who it is, you are, like, you standing strong on what it is that you want. You know, you putting your foot down and you getting real serious about yourself and your life, your health. I'm also getting that. You know, you loving yourself. This this year, Leo, of 2023 is all about self-love and stepping your game up in all areas of your life. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. This one to come out too. Okay. Somebody that may have left you out in the cold, Leo, wants to come towards you. We got the Five of Pentacles reversed and then we got the Devil card reversed. And this person that comes towards you, Leo, this person is going to pop up in your life after face after you face a lot of hardships and you recover from it. That's when this person is going to pop up in your life, Leo. Whoever this is, this is somebody that may have you had a soul tie with. I'm getting that for somebody. Some of y'all, this person may have had like some addictions. We got the moon card reversed. And then we got the mother star reversed, Leo. When this person comes towards you, Leo, this person, they want to let go of whatever beef y'all had between each other in the recent past or whether it was the past. I feel like this, and this is, I don't know why, but I'm getting this energy. This person could be coming like a little bit later down in the middle of the year of 2023. Some of y'all, this person came, already started popping up around New Year's, but I am seeing that it's like after you... Get out of, it's like after you get out of this hardship, right, that you was in for a minute, right? After somebody ghosted you and you start to, you know, heal and, you know, step your game up. 
bang, this person comes, they pop up out of nowhere. And like I said, whatever y'all had, whatever beef y'all had between each other, on why they ghosted you or why they left you, whatever, whatever the case may be, I feel like they're going to want to squash that. They want to let go of whatever toxicity that, that was in y'all relationship. But I feel like, I feel like, yeah, this is somebody you don't, you, you don't, you're not even going to see it coming at all. Like literally, you're not going to see it coming. But I just feel like we're going to have to clarify because I'm not seeing any action cards. I just feel like for the most part, it's like you see this person for who they really is. You see what I'm saying? And you just feel like the situation just serves no purpose. Some of y'all feel that way. Y'all feel like. Whoever it is that you, that showed they ass in 2022, I just feel like when this person come back after you recover from like whatever loss that you took from dealing with this person, or it don't have to be from dealing with this person, it just could be in general. I just feel like you, it's like you seeing this person for who they really is. It's like you don't want to go back to that energy anymore because you just feel like this is somebody that you first, for one, you just feel like you don't belong with this person. You know, you just feel that way. I'm getting that energy where you just know in your heart that you don't belong with this person. We got the strength. But some of y'all, this person got feelings for y'all. Some of y'all, it could be a Leo that may pop up or a water sign or Capricorn. Or it could be a Libra. Or you could have these placements in your chart or Taurus. But I am seeing, I'm seeing a lot of Earth. But I am seeing that somebody still wants to hold on to you. This person going to want to hold on to you. Maybe they could be telling you that they got feelings for you, Leo. Okay, we're going to do some more clarification. Yeah, but like I said, I'm not seeing any action cards. This could just be your energy, Leo, where you got that in your mind that you're not going back to that person. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person left you in a fucked up state in your life where you had to recover everything emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially. Like your stability was like really shooken up because of this person. You know, and it's like as soon as you bounce back, bang. They want to squash whatever beef that y'all had um, between y'all. But like I said, you already got that in your mind where you just, you know, you see this person for who they really is. It's somebody that has a really deep, dark side about themselves, Leo. Like, literally, clear, intuitive messages. Some of y'all, it could be your mother. Because like I said, it don't even have to be a lover who comes towards you in 2023. It don't even have to be a love interest. This could be your mother's energy. Maybe you don't get along with a mother figure. Or it could be your baby dad or your baby mom. Somebody you have children with, because this is the Empress card that you could be having this deep conversation with in 2023. You see what I'm saying? So if they not physically, if they, it's either physically they're coming around you, Leo, and having this conversation with you and trying to get back on your good side, or it could just be you having it in your mind that. You're not going back to the past. You're not going back to these addictions. Or you're not going back to the person you had a soul tie to. It's like you've seen everybody for who they really was in 2022. You know, see what I'm saying? But I am seeing somebody in spirit, like, around you that's, like, really protecting you right now, Leo. I feel like your energy is so potent, Leo, to the point that you really can't have nobody around you. That's how deep, that's how, that's how pure your energy is. With that deep card and that empress energy right there. I feel like your energy is just so potent to the point. Like if anybody talks and come around you. You're going to feel that energy. Like you know what I'm saying. And it can have some form of effect on your spirit. You know. That's, that's how it is. It's like you're trying to protect your energy from people. Especially from the toxic ex. Or this toxic mother that. That, um, that may have. I'm hearing destroyed your life in some way shape or form. In the past. But you overcame whatever struggles that and hardships that you have, you know, been in with this person or these people. Some of y'all, this person was crazy. We got crazy right here. This person is crazy. Or some of y'all felt like this person was driving you crazy. Now they're going to be chasing you. Want to get back on your good side, Leo. Like I said, some of y'all, this is a mother figure the rest, or father figure. The rest of y'all, this is a, um, a crazy ex that may have ghosted you and left you in your life in shambles and then now that you recovered and bounced back they want to bring their ass back but i feel like most of y'all already had it in your mind that y'all need to protect your energy and y'all need to leave this person or these people behind because they can really like fuck up your life y'all feel that way clear intuitive messages please i know this this one is long but 
I like long readings. Okay, we we just need one more spirit. Okay, we're gonna take the one that sells for rebound. Look, this person is yep. And we were gonna come back, Leo, because they want to use you as a rebound. That's it. Just like the first Leo reading I just did yesterday. It's saying like they they really don't have nothing to fall back on. That's what they're trying to use you for. They they don't have no um no support system. So they're trying to use you as a way of somebody to, you know what I'm saying, to, to fall back on. But most of y'all, like I said, y'all y'all ain't having that shit. Y'all very protective when it comes to y'all energy. Like, literally, y'all energy is so fucking sensitive, so potent, to the point you don't want nobody around you. I'm getting that energy, Leo. Okay, let me see if I can... I'm going to pull one more card for y'all. One more card, Leo. But most of y'all, this person that's coming towards you in 2023... They trying to use you as a rebound, but most of y'all, y'all already, y'all already got, I ain't got nothing else to say, y'all. Look, we got capping. Yeah, they, your person is a liar. Whatever that comes out this person's mouth, they a liar. They fibbing. They capping. They just telling you what you want to hear. That's it. They just telling you what you want to hear, and I feel like y'all already know what this person is about. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here, Leo. I hope y'all liked this reading. If so, don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. Y'all be blessed.